I'm here with Neil Bardhan, who is a connoisseur of all things breakfast sandwiches. Now, the term sandwich can encompass a lot of different vehicles into your mouth. Um, you know, I, I know that there's an argument about a hot dog being a sandwich, mm -hmm. um, but the act of putting breakfast on a sandwich brings the conversation of what a sandwich is up to a new level. So do tell us, what, what, how do you define a breakfast sandwich? For me, it has to include uh, just an, an egg, uh, a fried egg or a scrambled egg. I don't think hard boiled eggs count as a breakfast sandwich. Um, doing some, some deep thinking about that after a, a question somebody brought up at a talk. The way the question came to me was, is an egg salad sandwich a breakfast sandwich? Hmm. Great question. Uh, Got to do a, a, a bit of philosophy uh, and, and culinary um, history uh, behind that, I think. You know, what makes a breakfast sandwich a breakfast sandwich uh, is the, the question at the core of this. And so I, I'm somebody who once upon a time in college took a bunch of classes about like computational grammars and, um, you know, the, the language of thought. And so I have started playing with what this might look like in like a flowchart kind of way. Um, you know, kind of a, is this a breakfast sandwich decision-making tree? Is, if it's on a bagel, is it a good breakfast sandwich or just a sandwich? Um, what, what does a particular sauce contribute? Um, what, are, what are great combinations of breakfast sandwiches? And what are things where you're like, oh no, I would never combine that. Um, but people have personal preferences that I have to kind of take into account in my model as well. So uh, these are the things that keep me up at night. And where did your fascination with breakfast sandwiches begin? Ooh. Oh, great question. Around the time that I was finishing high school, starting college, uh, I had an internship and um, there was like this corporate cafeteria. It was you know, run of the mill, nothing, nothing interesting. Uh, but I had a coworker who would every morning be like, hey, you want to go get um, breakfast sandwiches? And we'd go and we'd each have usually honestly two uh, English muffin, uh, bacon, egg, and cheeses, and they were, they just hit me, and I was like, oh, this is a perfect little food. Um, it's snack-like <laughs> while being meal-like. And it's uh, portable. And, and portable, and at, you know, 18, 19, I could put a couple away and not think anything of it. Uh, and then over time, I just realized, I was like, this is just something that I really enjoy finding different varieties of, um, how do different um, like cities do it differently, different shops. Um, so really kind of the, the tip for this was about four years ago when I decided to crowdsource from Philly friends where their favorite sandwiches were. In ah, Pepper yes. Sandwiches, of I remember this project. Right? Yeah. And I just put it up on Facebook, put it on Twitter and just started making a map of this because I thought, gosh, I, I like these, you know, they're simple that a deli can do it, a fancy brunch spot can do it. Um, there's dozens, if not hundreds of them out there. Uh, I, I just felt like seeing what I, what I liked, what I found a special occasion breakfast sandwich. Oh, Turns out yes. there's such a thing. Well, yep. So where is a special occasion breakfast and where, we, wh what occasion would you eat this sandwich? Yeah, uh, this, this one, um, little, little tear to my eye, but, um, uh, plenty, uh, on, on Passyunk. There was also yeah. plenty, uh, I want to say like 16th and Locust in Philly. Um, that was a, a beautiful brioche bun, a runny egg, came with a side salad of all things. Uh, it was never something that I'd just go out and have on my own. Um, I needed, you know, a, a meeting of some import. No, I just thought this is a, a, a pricier, fancier experience than uh, your normal food cart or uh, diner. So yeah, yeah, it's an experience that you can either get really upscale or yeah. it could be out of a uh, streetcar in University right. City. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so run through a few of these uh, Sammies that you yeah. have photographed of. For sure. Let's see if my computer behaves. Heck yeah. Ooh. All right. This is um, a beautiful little specimen. This is from Beck's, excuse me, Beck's Cajun Cafe in a Reading Terminal Market. Oh, I love Bex. I didn't realize that they had breakfast sandwiches. I only went for they the do. jambalaya. Yeah, it's uh, andouille sausage or, um, and egg and cheese on a, on a long roll. Goodness um, me. How many yeah. eggs? It looks like there's two yolks because they're kind of yin-yanged in there. 
I believe I believe it is two eggs. Yeah, I believe so. It might honestly, it might even be a three egg. Um, Ooh, there's a secret egg in the back. Uh, uh, yeah. I I again, this is kind of gets to my question of um, sandwich dynamics, sandwich definitions of uh, are they kind of scrambled and laid throughout? Is it fried egg, fried egg, fried egg along the way? Um, are they stacked on top of each other? Uh, I would love to revisit this sandwich sometime. And so would you say that on a long roll like this, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what's the best distribution? Should you layer them all on top so that you get even amounts of each within a bite? Um, to me, this is a uh, scramble and lay it out uh -huh. uh, lengthwise. Um, yeah. Given, given how you hold a, a, one of these rolls, um, you're going to want to keep it distributed uh, and not have anything uh, oozing or, or um, liquefying along the way. Uh, and you also want the, um, the total thickness of the sandwich to be pretty consistent throughout. Okay, here's one. This is, this is an off, the, off the, the main, off the beaten path one. Ooh, I wanna say this place is called Cup of Joe and More. Oh, um, and that's the more. Yeah, so this is the more. So this is at um, just past Broad and Porter, towards the Fifteenth uh, Street side of things. Uh, I'll tell. I'll be honest. So I take a lot of pictures of breakfast sandwiches, as you might imagine, and by and large, I can look at them and say, "Oh, I know exactly where that was." This popped up in my camera roll um, a week or two ago, and I looked at it and thought, "I don't know." where this is, when this is. You can see a little bit of a blue recycling bin in the background, but the, you know, the tray yeah. throws me off. Um, and finally, I was looking at my calendar, looking at my text messages to like kind of archeology span uh, together when this, this was. deductive and, reasoning, yeah. To, <laughs> right, you know, right. Sherlock it was Holmes a, it. Yeah, it was a morning where my planned schedule for the day had gotten thrown off by a meeting that got shifted. So oh, plot twist. Time. Yeah. So, and, and this was a, you know, out of nowhere, I'd never been to this spot before, but I believe I searched on Yelp for breakfast sandwiches near me. Uh, found this not, not far from my house. Uh, ran an errand, picked this up and um, was pleasantly delighted by this little, little fellow. It seems like, so you were pleasantly surprised or pleasantly delighted, but you had trouble remembering where you yeah. got it. Do you remember the sandwich <laughs> itself? Yeah, it was a, it was solid, you know, it wasn't, um, wasn't mind blowing, wasn't special, but definitely did the trick. And I would go back again. Did you um, get a sausage patty on that? Yeah, it's a sausage patty. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm impressed patty. with like, just looking at the size of the roll and assuming that the diameter of the sausage patty is like, just within like an inch of mm -hmm. the roll. That's a big patty. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, it's a it's an unassuming spot. Uh, it seems like a little bit of a corner store. You know, you can buy milk and eggs there, maybe. Um, kind of an odd um, retail section. Hmm. Um, coffee was fine. Nothing to write home about. Um, but you know, fresh made sandwiches. I was a, a couple blocks from my house. Happy to find this. Awesome. Well, I hope yeah. that you you return someday. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, okay. Here's this one. Whoa. Um, yeah. Uh, I know right off the bat where this is from. Do you recognize this table or this, um, what's the word for this? Planchin? Planchard? Those, the, the paddle board? I'm, I'm feeling like it's not Craftsman Hall. It, no. Like, no, but is it Royal Tavern? No. Good guess, though. Huh. Um, this is High Street on Market. Yes, I should have known better. Yep. yep. Golly. Um, this was another weekday morning where something something just went a little askew, and I thought, hey, I've got an extra hour in my morning that I didn't anticipate, and I'm in Old City. I'm going to treat myself to uh, a luxurious, really nice sandwich, uh, a little pickled celery on the side. Um, what is in off. a little bottle? Uh, I believe that's a green hot sauce. I can't remember a whole lot about it other than that I almost certainly used it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try, I'll try any hot sauce that's uh, unlabeled like this. That's for Do sure. you, so, oh yeah, speaking of sauces that are on the mm -hmm. side, 
at what stage do you add it to the sandwich? Are you absolutely mayhem and add it right at the beginning? Or do you take a few bites, see how it goes, add a little bit, and then see how that goes? Depends on the structural integrity of the sandwich, I mm -hmm. would say. And if I'm familiar with it, um, there are, there's a lot of times where, I'll, yeah, I just go straight into it and, and sauce it up because I know I'm going to want it. And if I know that I'm not going to be able to put the sandwich down easily. I see. That was, um, that was a thing at Plenty often was I, you know, two hands on it. You don't let go. You hold on for dear life until it's all over. You took one photo at the beginning and that mm -hmm. was it. You were just mm -hmm. like, I, it's two hands or all over the front of me. Like, yep. th I see this toothpick. Now, do you take the toothpick out before you... Dive. Um, I believe I often leave it in for the first few bites to keep it keep it going, mm. um, and then then pull it out once I'm getting a little closer to it. Like and, dangerously, um, it deliciously, yeah. and dangerously. Yeah, but you figure it's there for a reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this is a good one. Ooh. This is a homemade vegan breakfast sandwich. Oh man! Wow, vegan. Because I was going to ask if that mm -hmm. was scrapple at the bottom. No. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Um, uh, I believe that's a potato um, patty. Um, friends of mine, uh, Jen and Bill, made this. Um, they made this. Wait, so yep. is this at a restaurant or this was a friend, nope. Sammy? Nope, this was a friend, Sammy. Wow. Um, yeah, they uh, they're both really into ex exploring foods, and they're they're living a pretty plant based life right now. Um, and they found this product called Just Egg, which is not egg. Uh, it's an egg substitute. Uh, that makes a pretty good scramble. <laughs> I can't and, believe it's not egg. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember the source of this bread. Uh, that might be store-bought, um, but it was a, a really wonderful sandwich that, you know, uh, the sort of thing where if you hadn't been told, hey, this is totally plant-based, you could, you could believe that it's... Yeah, egg, yeah, right? that's yeah. deceptive. Um, this is a uh, menagerie breakfast sandwich. I'm pretty sure that this is at their original Old City location. Um, cheese is all over the place, that's yeah. for sure. And there's it a, also a maple like going the, on. Oh, there's maple going on too? Mm -hmm. I, I was about to say that it, the cheese looks like a little like it was melted and then cooled again. Yeah, I believe this may be all like a reheated situation. Mm. Um, felt, you know, Mc, McGriddle Sizzly-esque uh, in that, that maple and English muffin format. but. Um, so often, I'm not, I'm not on a breakfast sandwich um, destination trip. It's a, this is what I need right now. And I'm really excited to have this available to me as, a, as an option with all the, these food groups and feel like uh -huh. a, it's a real breakfast. Was this a um, pepper jack cheese? Because I see little specks of like pepper, spice. It seems like pepper jack or, or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, not the, not the prettiest photo, but perfect little, little guy that I could, again, I could have a couple of these and not think too much of it. If I remember right, this is Old Nelson. I think that uh -huh. might be even, might be what the uh, wrapper says. I can't quite tell from here. Um, at like 36th and Market. I think I had an appointment in University City, and then it was late enough in the morning that I was like, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, um, but not lunchtime yet. And they were still making breakfast sandwiches there. Maybe they do all day. Um, this This is one of those egg patties that, I really don't love, but it, it gets the job done. It's kind of like a preformed slab of things. Yeah, it, it looks like a lot of egg mm -hmm. all at mm -hmm. once. Like they were making a bunch of they egg make a sandwiches. Batch. Yeah, at you the know, same You know, you can picture like a full sheet pan yes. that then gets kind of carved up. And that some places do that nicely. Some places do it just fine. And this is a just fine example. Um, you can see a, a pre-hot sauced it. It's or, impressive. Or oh, is that a hot sauce or? The, the red splotches are yeah. definitely hot sauce, yeah. Yeah, that's impressive that they got the egg thicker than the meat. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a, a real wonder. We've oh, got... it's got home fries. Oh, home fries. Okay. Here's Wait, a... are they on hot dog rolls? No, that's hoagie no, rolls. No, they're, they're like hoagie rolls. Okay. <laughs> this is um, Vincenzo's, uh, which is at like 8th and Mountain, 9th and Mountain, um, near like mm -hmm. Tasker. Um, this, this isn't my original photo. A friend sent me this. Uh, a couple months ago, somebody in the Philly Instagram food world kind of blew up Vincenzo's spot by announcing uh, publicly that there's a secret menu there, which is that you can add a chicken cutlet to any breakfast sandwich. <gasps> no way. 
so that, that there's like a pale thing kind of underneath the yellow and yes. red but above the, the bready stuff. That's a chicken cutlet. Mm. Um, and a friend snapped me this picture, said it was delicious. An hour later, he kind of was swinging by my house and he said, hey, do you want the rest of my sandwich? I said, absolutely. You ate his leftovers? H- heck yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, wow. I was so excited. I was, wasn't expecting it. Um, but it was That's it a was good solid. friend. Yep. Yeah, he knew, he knew that I'd get a real kick out of it. Um, wow. Yeah, you can, you can ask for a, a chicken cutlet on anything and you got to ask twice to make sure. Um, to, don't forget, forget the chicken sure. cutlet. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. some pro tips right there. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, this is the, the last little guy. This is the one from Plenty on um, Passion. A little blurry because I was trying to be sneaky for some reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> like you felt but, like guilty, like you couldn't take yeah. a photo of this. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I feel self-conscious about being that guy taking pictures of his food. Oh, I sometimes. feel yeah. yeah. Um, you see that salad in the background. Beautiful bun. Beautiful I mean, bun. the bun is, it's like a perfect sphere. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, that egg is so tall. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, was, I was shocked when these, uh, this like, mini chain closed. I was like, oh, that was, that was always one of my tops. Man. I can oh. see why it brings yeah. a little tear to your eye. That is a gorgeous yeah. sandwich. And what a great note to end on. These were, yeah. these were delightfully scrumptious breakfast sandwiches. Thank you so Thank much you. for schooling me Indeed. on uh, Indeed. what a breakfast sandwich is. You're very, very welcome. I hope we uh, get to compare notes on more of these sometime.